107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. He manages to do more and more and more. It is an honor and a pleasure to welcome Master P for the first time inside the Quiet Storm. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely glad to be here. I'm definitely glad you came back, brother. I just want to say hello to all the fans out there. And, you know, we we quieting it down right now. So we're going <laughs> to just chill. You know what I'm saying? We're going to chill. So yeah, and it sounds like you know about chilling a lot. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got to meditate, man, if you want to be successful. Where did you learn these early? I, I, I kind of know, but I want you to say it for the record. Where did you learn these, like, it seems like humble beginnings and, yeah. and understanding and taking care of you. Yeah. first well you know you can't work or you can't get out there and grind or whether you're an entrepreneur unless you take care of yourself you know I've, I've always played sports so i've always knew that i gotta take care of my body gotta take care of me to be able to be here to make some of these things happen and i mean you gotta believe in you you know i've, I've always told anybody i'm my best investment you know, and, and those are lessons learned. Sometimes they learn too late in life. Yeah. Uh, you were blessed to kind of capture that oh, very, yeah. very early on. And obviously, all of your kids, because of you, yeah. because of you, all your kids are learning, will learn that at their early age. And now, because you got children, what, from 9 to 25 around that? Yeah. Time, right? and, and my whole thing is to build a generational wealth and teach my kids that, that in order to do that, we got to change our mindset. So you got to be able to, to understand if you're going to create future millionaires. I got a thing called Team Future Millionaires. It's about me starting with my family okay. and being able to give that to other people for the next generation. Well, you know what? Uh, I think all of us can take a page out of Master P's book, and we'll get a chance to take a page out of your book because you yeah. are, have just ventured on to doing reality TV. Yeah. And uh, it's Master P's Family Empire. Empire. Master P Family Empire. Uh it's the first reality show for our people, our culture, somebody coming from a hip-hop perspective right. where they stereotype us and it's no drama. It's drama-free. You know, now, and That's the first, man. It's, a, it's the number one show on the network from ages 18 to 49. I mean, and it's about us raising our family. You know, it's about us saying... What I do with my kids before I get angry or mad, I like to listen. I'm going to listen okay. before you I turn up. it into something. And I think any parents out there listening right now, I mean, it's, sometimes you got to sit back and chill like you do on the radio and just, <laughs> just listen sometimes and just like... And meditate, right? And meditate, let it, you know. So now, now but you, you're planning yourself on, on the West Coast. As a matter of fact, the, the yeah. reality show yeah. that you have is really... California based. California based. And, you know, my kids go to school there. And it's like, it's beautiful for me because I come I'm, I come from poverty. I come from not having anything. You know, I grew up in the projects and I changed my life. I changed my life for my kids. What made you do that? What made you get, get to that turning point? Because so many people well, don't. Well, my, 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 my younger brother, he died young. What's young? Like 19. Wow. And. I always said, like, man, I want to do something. I want to be here for my kids. I want to do something right with my life. And that's what I did. I said, I don't I don't want it. Like, when you start saying stuff like, I'm going to die here, uh, I can't make it, all those negative things, it is the power of the words. I start speaking positive things, like I want something more out of life. There's going to be no limit to my success. And I want to, I mean, Romeo changed my life because you know, by me having him young, yeah. I'm like, I want to see him grow up. And he's going to college. Education is a big part of our life and, and our family. So that's what I mean by when you look at hip hop people, you know, because I'm not going to let nobody stereotype me as an artist. I never really claimed the artist thing. I always came as a businessman and the music blew up and I sold 75 million records. But I've always seen myself as an entrepreneur and a hustler, somebody that's going to do what it takes. The, and, the and, most, I, and I don't work for money. I make money. I know that's right. You got to. I got to take your class, man. <laughs> I, I don't even continue to make money. Um, a lot of people in the music industry, when you when you got in the game yeah. in the nineties, they didn't understand where you were coming from because you came from a different mindset. Yeah, I, people don't know. I went to college. So I had the first eighty twenty distribution deal, <sighs> which uh, at that time Michael Jackson had the highest deal was twenty two percent. Wow. And we changed the game. We 
the movie my, my movie's coming out uh next year called king of the south uh the ice cream man and it's like um it's about rags to riches it's like chasing a dream and a goal and never giving up romeo yeah right? romeo he's what 25 now 25 um it would be interesting to know how, how did you kind of um direct him when he was uh First attracted to the ladies because uh, you know handsome young man. Yeah, you know uh, they were attracted to him right off the cuff. Romeo, he got a mind of his own. It just but in the very very beginning, you know, I, I, little... I've always sit down and tell him, you know, think about treat people the way you want to be treated, and you know, don't just get with a person because of looks. Mm. You know, sometimes you got to. You know, you got to show respect, and that woman going to show respect, too. And you got to respect a woman, even even if it don't work. You just got to respect that person. And you respect everybody, you're going to get that same respect back. A moment ago, we were talking about comparing how you grew up. You grew up out of poverty in, yeah. in the projects. Your children, very, very blessed, very, very fortunate. Yeah. They didn't have to go down that route. But they still going to be humble. <coughs> you know, I, I got the humbleness from being hungry. Mm. You know, like Do you I, feel that they have that same... Yeah, okay. because you got to drive them like something. So I played ba I played on the basketball team with uh, Stephen Curry for mm -hmm. Dale Curry. Wow. So we was on the Charlotte Hornets together. But his son is better than him now. But you, we want our kids to be better than us. But something else have to drive you. So Stephen Curry didn't live like that, but mm -hmm. he, he, he put the work in to be good. You don't have to just be from the projects to have that same hunger. You might have the hunger from being successful, something that you love doing, your passion. But you know, the kids today, peer pressure is totally different. Yeah. Well, but you know, it's about spending time as parents with your kids. I, I go pick my kids up from school. Do they, don't, they don't need to walk home. I'm like, before the bullets get to you, I'm going to get to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure you get home. So you don't even need to go through that, you know. Wow. And that's a lot of parents don't do that. You know, they, they, they blame it on they're too busy. You can't be busy when you are preparing a life for the future. Well, uh, how, how soon do you feel children need to start focusing on making sure they save money? I think 12 years old is that time when a kid really have a solid mind to start thinking about economics. And, you know, all the mistakes I made, I started teaching my kids that early. I want you to notice at 12 years old, mm. I want to do what they doing with their kids. Mm. They've, they're already preparing their kids for the future and building a generational wealth. So you got to start, you know, I'm teaching my kids economics at 12. There's and, different levels of wealth. Yeah. It's, it's one thing to be rich and it's another thing to yeah. be wealthy. Yeah. Well, it's also a mindset. So when, when you have a different mindset, you know, it's not, wealth is not about money. Well, well, it's, it's a different, I tell people all the time, I have a billion dollars worth of knowledge, so you can't beat me. You know, you can't take none of this with us. It's your character that you got to leave with in the end, your integrity. So if you have none of that, you can have all, all the money in the world and nobody like you because you're a hole. Wow. We're going to get all of this on Masterpiece Family? Uh, you're going to get all that. And, all this. Um, no, I mean, it's, it's about sometime in life you, you can't be afraid to change. But most people are afraid to change. Most well, people don't like to change. Well, if you're doing the same thing and it's not working for you, why not change? Because that says a lot about you. Yeah, that, yeah, if you yeah, don't, yeah. if you're doing the same thing that got you in trouble, or got you incarcerated, or got you away from your kids, I mean, you got to change. Well, the thing is, most people are afraid because they don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah, but you have to be able to walk by faith because you don't know what happens next. See, our house is not a home when nobody's there. You, you have all your children with you. you yeah, have all five with you. Right? Yeah. So I, we spoke about, uh, you know, uh, Romeo just a moment ago. Yeah. You have a daughter. Yeah, Symphony. Yep. So now, the standard. Yeah. The standard of level. If a cat meets your daughter, mm -hmm. he's got to be melting in his shoes. Oh, yeah. that's First when and foremost. So that's how, when how tough are you? Because they say, you know, daddies and daughters, yeah. watch out. That's when the gangster come out. Uh oh. You come knock on my door for my daughter, you're going to get a real. Oh. It's, it's well, hold on, you going you gonna to scare every, every man away? You know what? I got to. <laughs> you got to. How old is your daughter now? 19. Okay, so in three years. So you knock years. on my door and be like, what's happening? What you want? <laughs> you here for? So if he, if he can stand up to you. 
I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> well, is you, is you, you allow your daughter to get married one day? One day. Right now ain't the day, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she got a career going right now. You know, she got a big record. I'm going to send it to you. Please do. Yeah. All right. So, you know, I mean, all jokes aside, it's just you got to come at, you know, a daughter should be able to have a relationship with a father, and that father should be able to have a relationship with somebody that's coming to take their daughter out. I mm. feel like that person should have respect for you. You should have respect for them. They got to earn your respect. That shouldn't happen overnight. Some guy just come chilling up at your doorstep, hanging out with your daughter, and you don't know them. You don't know. I'm mean, for real. Like any parents listening to this, you need to know backgrounds on on whoever come into your house. I mean, you should want to know that if your daughter is thinking about having a relationship with somebody. That person should go through the father first. That's how I used to do it back in the day. Yeah. And it worked. Wow. Well, but you know, like you but like you said, I mean the game has changed to where the parents ain't even around, so you don't even know who coming to your house. Because most of the fathers ain't home. But you are. I gotta be there. Oh boy. I'm about to change the game. This young guy, can his pants be sagging a little bit? Ain't no sagging whoop, pants whoop, whoop, around whoop, here. Whoop, man. Whoop, Come whoop, on, whoop, man. Whoop. You gotta have some some goals some and dreams. Yeah. Come, come, come with bringing some value, some respect. Well, brother, you know that we're, we know that you're going to bring a lot of that to the TV sets. Yeah. And we're going to learn from that masterpiece, Family Empire, every Saturday night, Reels TV Network. I can't thank you enough for coming by tonight. Oh, no, it's been nothing but love.